Somebody touch my spaghetti! Mine the too! Mine's gone! And my chair is broken too! Someone is in this house! Or the wrong button. Welcome to Phantasmicast. What's up, Bobby? <laughs> With Jay and maybe a replacement? Baby, baby. Where's Bibby? Bibby here. <laughs> Bibby here. And we're back for our first podcast. Of the new year. Yeah. 2018. Yay. <laughs> baby, happy. And there's been a lot going on. Yeah. You have... Baby, touch my spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, you have that. Somebody touch my spaghetti. <laughs> Do you know that? Do you know that? <laughs> well, we have Hawaii. That was actually a lot harder than it was. <laughs> it's hard to do mixing accents. Yeah, it seemed like it was getting pretty, pretty difficult, but... Hold on. Not the way, Daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, one of the big things that's happened already this year was Hawaii and that false ballistic missile alert. Oh, yeah, because the guy was, like, being interviewed with the password note on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what, what, what were you thinking? <laughs> I wonder what he was thinking. You know what he was thinking? He was thinking this about America. You were going to fail. He probably did. The thing is, now it's prompted all these, like, stories. Oh, what would happen if a ballistic, ballistic missile hit Hawaii? Or this or that. There was one... What if North Korea nuked Hawaii? You know, I was like, mm. Baby would stop it. <laughs> Baby would stop it. Baby could. He could boy. We just put Dennis Rodman in Hawaii. That's all we'd do. Well, Kim Jong Un can't nuke Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Or is he be betraying the homeboy lo- code? <laughs> bro code. The bro code. You can't do that. You can't. You can't. Like rule number 666 don't nuke a bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't nuke a bro. Yeah, I like that. Well, I, I really don't know if that is a bro code or not. It's a new one. Hmm. Bro code. Bro code number point zero one. Don't nuke a bro. Don't nuke a bro either. You you seem to you seem to inherently understand some bro code, but then you're like, how far does this go? Does somebody actually have a list of numbers? Do they know the way of the bro code? Do they know the way? <laughs> Do you know the way of the bro code? I don't think they no. I spit on you. <laughs> 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 it sounds like a laser. You don't know the way. You need to stop. Uh, let me tell you a joke. Let me tell you a good joke. A cop pulled me over. He told me to freeze. I look at him and I go, I never. I don't freeze. I will never freeze. We never freeze. And then I walk away. <laughs> That's a good joke. I like it. It is a good joke. Now I will sing you the song of my national anthem. That's insane. Why do you interrupt me? You do not interrupt me. (laughs) (laughs) I just thought there was more. Shut the fuck up. We get it. Our new favorite movie is very quotable. Swamp, Swamp Ape. Ape Review out on the Phantasmacast channel. Check out all your favorite review fucking quotes. <laughs> Whatever the great. fuck they are. It's pretty great. It's this pretty is great. shit show so far. I have derailed us so fucking far. We're, we are off the rails. I am not getting back on. I have done chair. my duty. <laughs> it took me eight episodes, but I did it. I am destroying the podcast. Yes. The baby is done. We have to throw the back of her. Yeah. We brought you some Cheetos. They'll give you strength. Cheetos give you strength. Yeah, but we're not sponsored by Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Cheetos. What's up? Yeah, well, they'll, they'll give us strength. Yeah, they'll give us strength. They'll give you strength. <laughs> Good there. 
That should be their new slogan. <laughs> Cheetos, they'll give you strength. Uh, <laughs> no, Cheetos, Cheetos is steal uh, sprints. Sprint slogan works for me. <laughs> Cheetos works for me. <laughs> A liabilistic code. It works for me. <laughs> Dennis Rodman works for me. Works for me. Ugandan works for me. But do you know the way? Uh, but I do you know the way. That was my jerk off arm! Do you know the way of the jerk off arm? I'm very disappointed here. Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. You disappoint me so much. Oh, no. No. It's not the way this works. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Do you forget that episode 2 had British Big B the whole time? Oh, wait, that was a dumpster fire. No one even watched that. <laughs> This is a pretty big dumpster fire. This is starting to turn into a pretty big dumpster fire. I like this episode. I think this is good. Uh, We're just ending out as a comedy cast. I've already done like six impressions. It's good. It's good. Let's get, let's get all this nonsense in here. Yeah. All that nonsense like Logan Paul. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, do you really know anything about the Logan Paul situation or no? Other than from what I told you. I haven't reviewed it much. Okay, so... Here's the cliff notes for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, at the end of last year, Logan Paul took a little trip uh, to Tokyo, Japan. He has like 1.6... Like, that video has like, you know, 7, 7, seven, 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 seven some odd million views or whatever. So you already fucking seen it. So you probably already know that he filmed a dead body and... Put it, posted it on YouTube, and all he did was blur the face. And uploaded it on January 2nd. And then YouTube did nothing. Did nothing, even though dead bodies are against their terms of service. And then uh, he was the one who took down the video, and YouTube's claiming that they were the ones who took down the video. That's great. Yeah. And uh, this whole incident has now uh, screwed over smaller YouTube channels. <laughs> who, uh... Who want to make this a job? But guess what? We're just making this a hobby. <laughs> Why the fuck would we make this a job? Yeah. Nobody watches our shit. <laughs> it's interesting though, because I didn't, I didn't watch a whole lot of it, but then I just started hearing things or watching. You know, he was just avoiding going out, or was this the, the first time out since all this went down and mm. he's all hiding? His dad even has a quote. He'll be back. Yeah. He'll be back. Yeah. After seeing that dad thing, it's like, wow, this is your real family. Yeah. No, no wonder why. <laughs> like, especially, like, it. like he's supposed to be, like, the calm one, even compared to his brother. Like, his brother is, like, if Rob Deerdeck was, like, a jackass member, <laughs> and Robin Big was jackass, <laughs> that took place just inside the house. Oh, man. Like, he has an empty pool, and he sets furniture fi on fire in there, and you have to realize he lives in a neighborhood. <laughs> <clears throat> An L.A. neighborhood. Typical. Typical. And his neighbors Typical complained. Kid. And uh, he, I guess he also uh, he also showed off, like, Post Malone's address. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Post Malone. <laughs> I don't know how real it was, but it was a tweet from Post Malone. <laughs> he was... It was a picture of him, and he was like bent down petting a kangaroo. Oh, okay. And he said, and, he said, and it said, "I'm not a cool. I'm today. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like how there's another. I saw this one picture where it had like right under it. It, it had a cool. It had a kangaroo tweet, and it was like met Jack Black today or some shit like that. That was great. I loved that. It was kind of funny. I was watching uh, Impractical Jokers. Uh huh. Recently, and I was watching their like. Hawaii episode where they went to yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. And uh, it was one where they were trying to get a passerby to pass a message between the uh -huh. two of them on like the beach. Yeah. 
and it was Q. He had his like hair all braided up, kind of like in cornrows. Yeah. I'm like, dude, kind of looks like Post Malone right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just talk about like how cool like Q is on Practical Jokers? Like he's like the best one hands down, right? Q. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. I got Q Sal Jomer for me. Yeah. Yeah, Mers, you know, ferret. I mean, Sal. I like I like Sal. I like Sal's man. reactions better than Joe's. Yeah, but what but what a girly man he is. Yeah, very <laughs> infeminate. He, he, infeminate. He falls down. He's scared of everything. Yeah. <laughs> why is why is he so afraid of cats? I know. Like what? I mean, I understand like things happen to people, so they get scared of things. But like, I mean, why is John Stamos afraid of dwarfs? So. Exactly. I didn't even know he was afraid of dwarves. Yeah, apparently so he's afraid was, of dwarves. That was news to me. Seems weird. It's like a weird fear to have. I know, right? I know. Practical joking is pretty great, though. It is. It is. <laughs> Joe, Joe's pretty funny, though. Yeah. Him and his belly. Yeah. The way he can make it, like, ginormous. I'm like, yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's healthy. Yeah, we're talking about his nose, right? <laughs> <laughs> His abundantly large nose. Captain Fat Belly. Larry. Larry. Larry! <laughs> no! I like the I like the punishment where uh they all all three of them got punished. It oh the Q's. tattoo one? Yeah. Oh no. No? No, it was the one where Q was punishing the other three. Oh, I don't think I seen that one. Oh, where he was like putting them through fire fireman tasks? Oh yeah, I did see that one. And Sal just had to climb up a ladder, and he wouldn't do. And he got like off two rungs, and was like, "Nope." <laughs> My favorite part was though the Joe part, where he had to put a hole in the roof. It was some pictures. It was either his wife or his baby. <laughs> he goes straight for the face. He goes first one right <laughs> in her face. He goes, "You could have went around her face." <laughs> but his logic was, well. I can make another one of these with this, so I'm not going to do that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty great. Although the tattoo one was pretty good, too. That was, why the fuck did he get Jaden Smith? Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith's on his leg forever. <laughs> like, he's so pissed off. <laughs> if I was Murr, Murr's one was actually pretty cool. Yeah, like, he's very he, skydiving. Like, yeah, he owned like, up to that one. He liked that one. I mean, that was, like, actually the best one. Q's was only good for, like, a year. <laughs> he's, like, oh, 38. Yeah, I think he's single. Like, five Two or cats. six months away from it. <laughs> turning, uh, turning over. It's like, what? Oh, that's good. I really just wanted Sal to go up to Jaden Smith. I have this two on my thigh. He's off your face. <laughs> Never get arrested. <clears throat> oh, Another one of my favorites, because it was just interesting, was mm -hmm. the Q punishment where he was just handcuffed to a mine for 24 hours. I don't remember that one. <laughs> yeah. And I've, I've watched a marathon, like, over the fucking Christmas vacation. Yes, I was like, I didn't see that one at all. <laughs> no, there's one. Yeah, there's one where he's handcuffed to a mine for 24 hours, and, like, they have to go do, like, some stage shows and meet and greets and stuff, uh -huh. and, like, travel. So he's just kind of mine. <laughs> I think they were like riding on a uh, part of their travel was like through train or something. Uh -huh. And they had to use the bathroom. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they had to like both like squeeze into the bathroom. Because <laughs> they're handcuffed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So strange. But so good. I think my favorite one, my favorite one that I recently saw was the. Uh, was the uh, Sal punishment where they, he thought they were getting a lawsuit for <laughs> screaming at the statues. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ultimately, it started out as actually, like, a real thing. Yeah. But then they just kept it going into the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty good. Oh. Like, I, I thought that was perfect. <laughs> uh, I kind of like the Sal punishment where... He has to go through the haunted house and oh, all yeah. the candles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the most terrifying one, though, was the Q punishment where he had all those tarantulas on him. Uh, Have you seen that? 
I don't think so. Yeah, it was like, like it sounds familiar, but yeah, I think I seen like the end of it. It's it was very similar because <clears throat> it was the same warehouse where Sal got punished by getting all those cats put on him. Uh huh. Well, it was basically the exact same punishment, with just with tarantulas. Uh huh. I'm like, uh. <laughs> Cute was pissed. I think the funniest one was the when Murray was given that like speech, and like they kept fucking with his legs. <laughs> Like, that one was, like, the funniest punishment. That wasn't a punishment. That was just, like, a fucking skit that turned out great. My favorite Joe punishment was his birthday punishment. Where they wrapped his house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was the present? Oh, more wrapping paper. I was thinking of doing some redecorating. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Joe one is when he's in the test. It's, like, all the ones where he has to tell people, like, he shit his pants or he peed in the pool right there or... He has to open the door and tell people that there's no toilet paper. <laughs> uh, I just uh, the, the birthday present. My least favorite one was the Mer- one was when the guys destroyed Murr's house. I thought that one was just plain <laughs> out cruel. Murr's playhouse. Yeah. It only eats dress clothes. <laughs> Who's that man? He's so hairy. <laughs> I legitimately thought that one was a little too far for those guys. That's pretty rough. Uh, what do, what do you think of uh, Murr's Statue of Liberty one, where they just ended up kidnapping him, and then he didn't know where he was, <laughs> and he was uh, he dressed up as Lady Liberty and stand out there. I remember that, but I don't at the same time. <laughs> yeah, he thought he was getting driven to, uh, you know, one of their sets, uh-huh. and he ends up getting driven to this place where he gets. Uh, Put his car gets put on a flatbed truck. Mm-hmm. Flatbed truck gets put on a boat, uh-huh. <laughs> taken out by the Statue of Liberty. He has to stand there and pose. And then a tourist ship goes by and just starts booing him. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember that now. <laughs> oh. I'd have to say my my least favorite Q one was like him having to eat while in, in his jeep. <laughs> like that one was stupid to me. That one was pretty rough too. I'm like, oh man, that looks like a nice Jeep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. What about hit, what about Q's turkey legs? Turkey we legs. had to go to that singles event. <laughs> he had two turkey legs tied to his hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he couldn't stop until he was done eating. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, that was pretty great. There was like one girl that was almost sort of digging it. It was uh-huh. weird. <laughs> My favorite is more like whenever they do a skit where they have to give a presentation and they always add something like slightly racist. <laughs> and it's like you can't stop. Everybody's seen it. Right. right. Uh, my, my favorite will always be when like Murr was giving a presentation. And he's like, "This is my sister. This is my sister. <laughs> it's a yes. black woman." It literally says "sister" on it. Yeah. I thought that was great. <laughs> Oh man. Thing is, do you think it was taking it too far on Sal's punishment where Murr actually marries his sister? No. <laughs> that was great. They can always get a divorce. <laughs> I'm like, they went through all the trouble? Like, they went through an official marriage? Like, what? <laughs> they went through a long con to think Sal was, that Sal was getting sued <laughs> by the government. Oh, Sal's punishments sometimes seem the most memorable. Yeah. Like the one where he's stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, <laughs> and like all by the... that fireman. <laughs> His dad's there. Yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't you be like more like him? <laughs> this dude's just ripped. Yeah. <laughs> no shirt on. Yeah. Just, just a fireman's suspenders. I think my least favorite Sal one was like when he was stuck in an elevator, quote unquote. Oh, yeah. I thought that one was dumb because it's like. Yeah. But it so bothered him because it yeah. had cats and sick people. Yeah. I like the one where he had to go through the corn maze and then they pulled the rope on him so uh-huh. he didn't know his way out and he just had to run. Yeah. I think my favorite episode is the cruise cruise ship episode. Oh. Wasn't there several punishments on there? It, it was Joe and Murr had a punishment. Mer, Mer, Mer was, was just to give a captain. speech. Yeah. And Joe had to do the belly flop contest. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Or, or the cannonball contest, but just do belly flops. Oh, and he yeah, did like seven, cool. like ten in a row or some shit. <laughs> that was 
so. And everybody woke up going, no more, please, no more, you can't take it. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, do it again. <laughs> uh, Practical Jokers is just so funny, show. It is. I like how we talked about this more than we've talked about any other topic so far. <laughs> Practical Jokers is actually interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's better than Hawaii. <laughs> America could get destroyed any second. Hey, Mer- practical jokers is on. Yeah, Logan Paul posts a video on YouTube. All small channels take a hit. Practical jokers is on, man. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Fantastic ass hasn't uploaded in months. Practical jokers has been like a four month marathon. <laughs> uh, I can almost always watch Mer's Mer's punishment, where he's just has to answer questions about the rest of the guys and if he gets it wrong he has to get a piercing oh yeah <laughs> I like I like his I like when they had to get his belly button pierced yeah. <laughs> it had one with a little dangly on it that said sexy <laughs> <laughs> then they made him walk out of there without a shirt on no. uh, oh, that looked painful I, I like I like the one where uh, he had to take a lie detector to lie detector test in front of his whole old oh, school yes <laughs> his ex-girlfriend was there and like, like he say he cheated on her oh my god yeah that was great that was pretty brutal oh, oh and his old teacher was still there that he had a crush on yeah his Spanish teacher oh <laughs> embarrassing that was, that's pretty embarrassing and it was like a Catholic school too yeah it was it was not like a regular school it was like a or what about Murr, where he had to walk home from that mall? Oh, dressed up the, as a deer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that one had to have been so illegal. <laughs> Almost as illegal as the fucking strip nip, strip high five. Oh, yeah. What the? Why does it seem like Murr and Joe are always the two that get, like, get paired up when it comes to punishments? Yeah, right? <sighs> <laughs> What about Murr where he's at that boxing event and has to keep dressing up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he uses, uses pretty much that same costume. Murr gets punished a lot. He's a centaur. Because <laughs> yeah, he he's just not going to say that. I, I like that, that that when they were like in like um, cashiers at the sandwich restaurant and he had to tell the guy to take off his sunglasses. He was like, nope. Fuck <laughs> that. I can't <laughs> do that. Fuck that. I was literally just going to go to that because I was thinking of that. I'm like... Yep. <laughs> the guy knows the guy. <laughs> he backed up a little bindle. Yeah. Put over his back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My boss just told me I'm fired. You wouldn't have to know anything about that, would you? <laughs> nope. No idea, man. <laughs> man. That was great. He had to look so sad. <laughs> the guy goes... <laughs> <laughs> like, I think after he's... Like, after, like, when Murph first went out there, he, like... It's like, okay, I think there's something going on here that's funny. <laughs> and then when he saw the bindle, he just lost it. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of like uh, the episodes where they have, like, the the inside stuff. Yeah. Because there, that, that, there was that episode where it was Joe at the counter. Mm-hmm. And the guy walks in and he just goes, no. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Makes him leave. And then the inside joke on that was that Joe ended up chasing him down afterwards. <laughs> to, to, to like apologize and give him like a drink or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Oh. What about that punishment where they. Man, Q really loves that Jeep because they punish that a lot. They messed it up, they sold his wheels. Oh, yeah. They actually, didn't they blow it up during their military episode? <laughs> I just thought of when Q was getting proposed by the girl on the baseball field and all he had to do was say no. <laughs> like, he said Q punishment, and I'm like, yeah, baseball field, marriage proposal. It's no. <laughs> He's been punished a lot on a baseball field, too. Brian Quinn, will you marry me? No. <laughs> Q's crew? <laughs> Dance off? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Having to have people, like, chant random stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, we're picking a new mascot. I have Salad Boy. And I have... Mine's way better than that. Salad Boy! <laughs> With pickle arms? 
Do the salad boy. <laughs> oh, I saw that stuff. <laughs> Talking about baseball, that reminds me of the the, the fucking Murr punishment where he has to, or, or he's like a concession, oh, concession yeah. guy, and he can't give people back his change. Oh, yeah. oh my god! And at the end, he's running away from the woman on the golf cart, and she's just booking it after him. She's like right next to the golf cart the entire time. Yeah. He can't go fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> or the oh. Gosh, the murder punishment where he's just chained to that bench. They're like putting, <laughs> they put a snake on him. Sloppy Joe King, <laughs> you got him. All <laughs> and then they use that freaking wood chipper, <laughs> chip like vegetables and shit at him. <laughs> he would pour honey all over him, and put feathers on him. Jeez, that's pretty brutal. We're just taking some, we're just taking some bad ones. <laughs> I like how they. I like how he noticed his neighbor in one of them, uh-huh. where they're like supposed to get somebody to tell him a secret uh-huh. at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like a neighbor. Yeah, or it was wasn't it neighbor. like an old friend or some shit? Oh, it was an old neighbor of his. Oh. <laughs> she lived a couple stories below him. Yeah. She said she heard running water. She, she goes up to check on him. And he overflowed the shower because <laughs> he was having sex in there. <laughs> oh. That's a, that's a good one you weren't expecting. Like, you weren't expecting to see somebody and tell them that. Yeah. Especially when you knew Murr. Uh, I liked two of the other secrets from other people that they saw. Like, Sal, one of his secrets was uh, that, that older lady. She's like, I'm 58, going on 59. I still get horny. Don't <laughs> tell nobody. <laughs> Winks at him. <laughs> And then Joe's is, or no, it was Murr's. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> At first, he was like, I put an artichoke in my pants, and I can't find it. <laughs> he goes, I'm not helping you look at that's what you're asking. He goes, no, 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 that's not what I'm getting at. <laughs> Tell me a secret. He goes, because he was just walking with a girl, he goes, yeah. see that girl over there? I'm going to bang that girl. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, some people will just tell you anything. They will. <laughs> They're also super nice. They are. Because <laughs> actually going back to that Hawaii episode and that particular one where Q looks like Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were having a guy pass stuff back and twi- between each other. Eventually it, it just got to that guy <laughs> carrying stuff back and forth between their like setups. Uh-huh. <laughs> like he's carrying this big ass tent <laughs> back <laughs> he was just done he was done after that <laughs> oh, oh Jesus Christ what a show I also like when they have inventions oh they yeah to try to disprove <laughs> what is it Rattos <laughs> my favorite waterproof bread waterproof bread he just dumps it in the water. That doesn't look waterproof to me. <laughs> but we haven't mixed in the ingredient yet. Uh, is that approved by the FDA? <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was the other one? The other guy had what? The self-destructing pregnancy test? Yes. It was? yes. <laughs> Q versus Murr. Did the other guys have a turn on that? I think that one was just a Joker versus Joker. Baby tire. <laughs> Just cat litter in a briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> we keep calling the little one girl Fran. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, French. <laughs> you take a shit, right, French? Oh my gosh. I always like when they have to fill out a, have have someone fill out a questionnaire for them. The questionnaire, and then their responses. Yeah. I like the one where it was, what, it was Q was the moderator, uh-huh. and it was Murph, and they just get down to the last question, and Q just starts doing finger guns at him. <laughs> <laughs> like, already, I bet by that point, everybody in the room knew something was going on. Yeah. I, I also like when they're, like, at a res- like, they're playing receptionist, and they have to, like, name off people from a group. Oh. <laughs> they're so, oh my gosh. Uh, I like the one where they were playing 
receptionist. And uh, I guess, what was it? Q didn't get the memo on being all dressed up. Oh, yeah. He didn't wear dress pants, so they made him walk out with his shorts and his yeah. dress pants. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like when they made Sal go eat a sandwich off a chair. <laughs> right, right as somebody comes up. I'm sorry, was that my lunch? <laughs> Just like kneel down at a chair eating. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Murr, he had somebody sitting in the reception area, and they go, "Buddy, just just close up for the day." He just starts turning all the lights off and leaves the guy just in the yeah. park. <laughs> oh my gosh! I like the one where Sal is like bringing up one person, and it's like, "Oh no, nope, not I need the other one." Oh, yeah, the two ladies that had the same name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I kind of like the one where they, um, the ones where they have that mirror, so they try to make them laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gary Busey. <laughs> Murr, Gamma. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Pissing dog. Puddles. <laughs> Murr was fucking a fire hydrant. They're so creative. Well, it's just the the amount of what do you call it? You know, just kind of being able to go out and just say things yeah. to people or do things. Yeah. Like having that, because you know it's good to be creative, but if you don't really have like what it takes to just go out and do it, mm-hmm. not like that's crazy. Yeah. Part of me, like the punishment where it was Sal and Joe, and they were opening up for Imagine Dragons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut your face, Grandma. <laughs> it's actually on a shirt. They sell that. Yeah. I think it's either at Hot Topic or whatever. One of those two. What are you talking about? We, we, the only time we ever walked into Hot Topic was to walk right back out. That was pretty great. We walked all the way to the cash register, looked around, said nope, turned all the way back around. And then what happened, Jay? <laughs> Well, actually, I think they might have said something before we completely turned around. Nope. And we were just like... They didn't. I think they did. They didn't. But they started walking after us as we walked out. Like, yeah. That was so weird. They did. <laughs> Got all the way to the exit, and they're like, really? Nothing? I know. Like, we, did, we didn't think it's... We didn't even say anything after that. No. They, they said that, and then we... <laughs> like, we literally right. walked all the way to the counter, though. And then turned around and said, nope. That was probably one of our most awkward uh, interactions we've ever had. That was one of your most awkward. <laughs> okay? I think we all know mine. Oh, that's right. <laughs> if yeah, yours if you, came after that. If you, if, you remember, if you remember the last podcast about <laughs> comic, uh, about the Grand Rapids Comic Con and my hentai story, yeah! I think we all know that was one of your most awkward <laughs> moments. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. See, in my awkward moments... I go from zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> All right, there's the hentai guy. There's that, and then there's the art van extortionist. Oh yeah, that was. <laughs> oh. Just... Now that I said that, I probably should tell the story. Yeah, let's let's go through that real quick. So I don't think we've been over that before. Okay, so this was about two three years ago. When did we start hanging out like like full time? It was probably about a couple of years ago, I think. It's like 2015 or 2014, somewhere around there. Because I know I, I I know I went through a breakup. I was like super 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 depressed. Yeah, that was. I was like, why do I have to do this? <laughs> and then you were just like, we used to hang out, and I'm like, yeah, hang out would be okay. <laughs> just come pick me up. Do you want to pick me up? 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 <laughs> okay. But it was around that time frame. And that was also around the time I had my movie collection was about a hundred movies. And I was still gaining because I was buying like five dollar movies off Amazon. And I'd buy them like ten at a time. And I had a box about like full of seventy of them. And I just had like stacks of them, and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. 
I need jobs. Was that was that after we 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 went to Fye and you bought like a boatload of movies? Nope. No. This was this was before. Before, okay. Because this was me trying to get my first shelf. Oh right, right, right. So I needed like it was like summertime. It was like like July, August, somewhere yeah. around there. And I needed a shelf. So I was like, hey, do you mind helping me find a shelf? Yeah. We... First place you fucking suggest. Hey, let's go to Art Van. They can, they have, they have furniture. They have furniture? Who knows? Walk into Art Van. We get greeted, you know, normally. Yeah. Wait. By a saleswoman. Yeah. She was an old lady, too. She was. This was back when I was a temp, too. Because she offered, because she was like, my husband works here. Just, you can apply here. I was like, nah, I'm good. Mm, yeah. Yeah. You and I will never have an interaction again. Bye. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so, I, w- I told her, we're just here to look for shelves. I need a shelf to hold movies. And she's like, Okay, let's head over to the discount area. You fucked off. You completely, like, fucked off. You stayed, like, 20 feet away from us at all times. She would not leave my fucking side. Yeah, I was like, bye. <laughs> you are like, bye. Totally kind of left. Yes, bye, bitch. That. That's pretty rough. <laughs> Got a piece to fuck out. Uh, so there were, like, four shelves in the discount area. Yeah. She showed me all of them. And I looked at all of them, and I was like, there aren't really anything I'm looking for. They are ugly car- uh, colors. They look ugly, and they're too tall to fit in my room. Plus, they were all like a billion dollars. Yeah. Van is not cheap. They were like 400 bucks for a shelf. I was like... Nope. Like, I told her like 17 times, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. And then she got super pissed off like five minutes before we left. She was like, all right, what's it going to take for you to leave here with a shelf? And I'm like, uh, nothing. I'm look, just looking. <laughs> I, we don't have a vehicle. We will deliver it to you. I don't. Just looking. I'll come back. I'll come back. Like, like, like after, like, I don't know how it like happened, but we ended up like parting ways from her. Yeah, we did. And me and you, and I was like, just walked over to you, and I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here, please. And we because did. she, she tried super hard to get me to buy one of those fucking shelves. We made a beeline and just got the fuck out of there. Yeah. And then we went to this other furniture place where we walked all the way to the back corner and then left. <laughs> I'm starting to see a pattern. We just walk into places, turn around, and then leave sometimes. It's our MO. <laughs> it really is. It really is. But I do like to mention that there's another story we also have to not talk about because you brought it up at the beginning of this. Oh, Let's talk about my movie addiction that you didn't fucking cut me off of. I'm kind of a bad friend. You I? are. <laughs> you took me to FYE on buy one, get one for a dollar day. Do you remember how many fucking movies I bought? There's probably... I don't know... 25? 30. 30. Mm-hmm. Bought 30 fucking movies. How much did I spend again? Oh. Um. 115 dollars. Yeah, I do you remember how many times I was asked by an FYE employee, Hey, do you want us just to bring these over to the counter? <laughs> not particularly. Not particularly. My, the stack went from my dick all the way to my chin, and I am like six foot two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. At some, t- at some points, you were like, hey, you should really cut me off. I go, yeah. <laughs> you should cut <laughs> me off. Shrug. <laughs> you should cut me off. <laughs> I wasn't moving. I was just looking at the DVDs. You just started browsing through them, and I'm like, oh, I need that movie. <laughs> Put it in the pile. <laughs> and then at, at, at a certain point, I just get to the, do you need this movie? 
<laughs> I'm like actually enabling you even more. I'm you like... are. I am glad I'm not addicted to crack or something. Because I'm pretty sure you would just be sitting there with a crack plate and a bag of crack and be like, Are you sure you don't want to hit? I mean, rehab is a lot harder than you think. <laughs> Can I get some crack? <laughs> I'd be sitting there. I don't need it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm taking the crack in the, <laughs> in the pipe from you. I'm done. I swear. I'm done. Just one more hit. <sighs> oh, you're a bad friend. I need to go back to rehab. Please. <laughs> you, you could just be like Stan Smith. I think it's cold medicine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Or Peter Griffin when he wasn't allowed to drink. Government came and took my baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. Some of the some of the more fun times of our excursions to the mall were the card games. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cards against humanity stuff. Yeah, cards against humanity stuff. Yeah, we had to play a modified version because it was only us two. <laughs> oh. I'd always go for the worst. I'd always go for the worst. I think I always went for the worst. <laughs> we uh, we tried to outdo each other. I think I outdo you way more because all mine were like <laughs> super dirty. Yeah. I think those, I got, I times, kept, though, we were going for some... You got like all the morb... Was... You got like all the morbid ones. I got all the sex ones. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... Yeah. That's pretty much how it worked out. Uh, Correct Against Humanity is pretty great. It is. I still gotta finish up. I don't think I have all the expansion packs. Yeah. We should go. <laughs> we should go get the expansion packs. <laughs> yeah. Let's make a vlog about it so we can have so you can have something to upload to the channel for once. I should. Oh man. Have we had any more really awkwardly weird interactions with people? Hmm. <laughs> Besides our whole high school career. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, we didn't have awkward conversations with them. They had awkward stuff with us. It was weird. They were awkward towards us. So loud. They were like, Do you speak? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was always the weird thing. Why don't you talk? Mitch, because you never let me speak anything. <laughs> and when I do speak, <laughs> you always tell me to shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> Literally every interaction we had in high school. <laughs> How did you talk? Don't you ever talk? Remember when I got out of trouble by saying I didn't throw paper? I tossed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty great. We were just fucking, t fucking around in like the middle of class and we were about to take a test. And the teacher's walking up from the back of the classroom. We were in, like, back corner, like, three rows from the back, about, like, four rows from the front. Yeah. And it's, like, the back corner and shit right there. But there was a person in between us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I don't have a good throwing arm. If I threw it, it was probably going to go, like, five feet one way or five feet the other way. There was no in-between. So I'm like, I have a pretty good underhand. I am good at catching that I am at throwing. Take that however you want. Uh, I'm not going to say anything because you probably already went there. Yeah. But teacher was walking up from behind us. I didn't see it. I tossed the paper at you. And she just goes, no throwing paper. <laughs> For whatever reason, I just, just blurred out. I didn't throw it. I tossed it. <laughs> oh. I didn't throw it. I tossed it. <laughs> she was like, don't use semantics with me. <laughs> she did. She was kind of pissed. <laughs> she was. But she was like, he's kind of right. <laughs> he didn't throw it. He tossed it. Uh, I just remember one of, one of the presentations. I don't remember what class it was. Uh-huh. But I, I pretty much used one of, like, Dimitri Martin's things. Uh-huh. Where he had one of his jokes, 
you know, because he always used a lot of visuals. Yeah. So he had a chart. He, you know, he had a chart that, you know, it was a chart of how, int- you know, how hot a girl is or whatever by how many cats she has or something like mm-hmm. that. I did, like, the same thing, but, like, something school-related. I got a few laughs. laughs. A few laughs. It's worth it. Oh. See, I was never funny in my presentations, because I was like, nobody's going to laugh at these jokes. <laughs> I'm not funny. Yeah. Probably not as funny as I think I am. No, I don't think we ever really were as funny as we thought we were. <laughs> Talking about, I'm fucking hilarious. Do you not know the baby? You're quite the baby. You're quite the baby. It was weird though. We were definitely not. We were definitely not very. Definitely not very popular. But it seemed like everybody gravitated towards our lunch table in the morning before classes started. Like freshman year, like we didn't sit next to each other at all. No. Sophomore year, yeah, we started like sitting together at the lunch table. <laughs> By senior year, we almost had to move to a different table. <laughs> Because everybody crowded around us. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because junior year, by the end, it was like just half a table. And then like everybody just started crowding around us. And I'm like, what happened to my table? What ha- why-, why are you people around here? You don't talk to us. We were here first. Yeah, there was one time I think we did get there late. And we're like, there's no seats at our own table. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Uh, I remember, well, I think it was sophomore year. One of the lunches I got paired up with it was like Ryan and Ben Oh, dude you can't use their real names you can use their last names nobody knows who those people are yeah you can't talk about Ryan Gosling and Ben Stiller like that (laughs) but it was every lunch it was just me and Paul insulting each other the entire time you and Paul Walker insulted each other the whole time we did wasn't sophomore year when you got your car um, it was late freshman year. Actually. Oh. But yeah, I drove all sophomore year. Oh. But yeah, during that lunch, it was just insults every time. It was just who could insult the other person more. Cool. Which, it was not necessarily that fun, but sometimes it was because you'd get so pissed off. <laughs> yeah, that's great. You had someone to actually talk to. I got stuck with nobody. <laughs> nobody important. And it was like... It's great. Oh, you guys fucking suck. Yeah. I need new friends. <laughs> Lunches were weird. Like, senior year was the last one I had. It was like, I only had like two people I ever talked to. And then it was like, just go down there, eat my lunch, and then just head back to fucking web multimedia advanced. Oh, yeah. Like, advanced multimedia computer class. That was good. That was that was great though that we. I I I'm I'm not gonna lie, like I was thinking about it last night. And I'm like, I honestly didn't do anything in that class. Like it just popped in my head randomly. I'm like, I took a class, I didn't do anything, and I got an A plus in it. Well, that was the fun. That was the fun part. Is I took that class too. Uh huh. And you you did it in the morning. You were like, because we had it like the same semester. Yeah. We did. But you were in the morning, and I had it in the afternoon because I remember because I had class every other morning. Because I had personal finance. Oh, right. And, like, some mornings I'd just, like, come in early and just, like, hang out with you. <laughs> but, you know, it, it was started out as I was going to, like, take an internship class or whatever, but I couldn't find an internship, so they moved me into that class. Yeah. And it was, like, literally my entire class was just helping you with a senior video. Yeah. <laughs> like, we were both working in the senior video, and that's it. Yeah. Like, I really barely did anything that entire semester. It was great. <laughs> like, for half of it, I was, like, just, like, you know, I'm just sitting here, fourth chair from the front row, not doing anything. Because this was my chair back when I was doing the fucking news in the morning. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is fun. All computer classes are fun. Like, I just fucked around with After Effects so much. <laughs> like, I remember sophomore year when the teacher was like, okay, we, we're going to, like, you're, you're part of the, the, the news team of this year but we were thinking of like having you spearhead it next year and I'm like I really don't want to do that because I don't know if I want to go into this as a career and then I, I took desktop publishing and I was like alright I'm done with all this stuff and it's been uh, how many alright oh, there's two months left of class <laughs> I have nothing to do 
Uh, Man, I wish I could edit videos in this class. <laughs> I forget what song it was that I put into the senior video. It was like a popular song, but it was probably not. Journey. <laughs> <laughs> the one that started every video on that CD. <laughs> no. Don't stop believing. That. I forget what like popular song it was. Oh, no. The, you're talking about the one where the principal got like, yeah. The principal has some questions about that song. <laughs> I know. He asked, he asked me, or the teacher asked me, do you know what that means? I go, I don't know. It's just a popular song. <laughs> I totally played dumb the entire time. Like, oh, I guess I could just take it out. And then I was given like the task of choosing all the songs. And I'm like, whatever. I don't care. I put in like a bunch of like alternative rock songs that nobody liked. I like, I like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Like you picked Journey and like a country song, and then the rest are all alternative rock songs that don't fucking fit. <laughs> oh man, that was great. And then you, like, didn't check out the Facebook group page. Oh, I did not. And then I did. I did. And I saw, like, everybody was like, yo, this new video sucks. (laughs) It was terrible. And I'm like, I didn't say anything, but I just looked at him like, you guys want to give it a try? (laughs) Oh, shine me. Yeah, you guys want to try it? We had two guys working on it. Guess what? We didn't care. Yeah. (laughs) We fucking hated all of you. Yeah. It was like, oh thing is of course it's like all the really like popular people like the people you just hated the most yeah. probably yeah like, uh, you know we like and we, and we had to go to like the, that, that senior awards night but neither of us got an award we were just there and it was like these two made a video oh it's like worked on the senior video didn't even fucking stand up didn't go up front no. be announced we just fucking sat back there and we're like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Went, we're there with our parents and it's like Here's the senior video. And it's like, well, I guess this is a prototype now. Yep. <laughs> Here's the prototype, guys. You guys are missing a few students, we noticed. Uh, That's well, yearbook's hardest, fault. That's yearbook's fault. That was the hardest part, though. I kept getting with yearbook to give me all the photos because people weren't submitting them. No. Like they were supposed to. No. So Even I had to make an advert. You made an advert that I starred in that I didn't, that I, I was super nervous. Yeah, I, I did a dance at the end. And I don't. Even, I never even saw the video. I literally didn't even saw, see oh the video. Why? Because I had gym class. Yeah, great. I had gym, and we didn't watch the school news. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Like I think we filmed that once, and that was it. Oh, the glory days. One take, Big B. <laughs> One take, Big B. How can I tell? Swap per view. One take. <laughs> One take. One take everything. Uh, computer classes were fun, though. Cause you, they most were. Of them, most of them you didn't really have to do a lot. No. The only one that sucked was, like, the tech explorations class. But that was more of a team building class. Tech? Oh, that was that other class, though, right? And yeah. Down the, down like, we were always split up into groups. Right. And it was just basically team building. Yeah, because that was the room right next to... The, the band. Band and stuff, yeah. I remember. I got... <laughs> I was pretty much like... I was like paired up with these like two country people. Uh-huh. And uh, this other girl. I kept getting paired funny. up with freshmen. <laughs> I got so pissed off. Well, I think I got that class either freshman or sophomore year so I got I was always paired up with like um upperclassmen oh I remember this one time we uh this was before they ended the biochemistry uh module oh right like and you had to make yogurt oh right and I remember one of the people in my group not in my group he came over and visited because our corner was like the corner because it had like like two upperclassmen in it and one lower classman and uh, one of the well, one of our classmates uh, spit in the yogurt, and we had to go present it to the teacher. <laughs> Nobody told him there was spit in the yogurt, and he no. tasted it, oh, and he was like, no. "Bit tangy." <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, man, See, that could have been from like my hands that I'd never washed, but I jerked off that morning with. 
Because I was the one who squeezed the strawberries. <laughs> My hands were pink all day, and hey, they smelled good. Didn't smell like semen. Oh, man. Chip class. Chip class. I don't know why, but I always enjoyed chip class. Playing games. Yeah. Basically doing nothing. Yeah. The only one I... The only, like sports game I always hated was baseball because I can't hit the fucking ball yeah I think we only the only thing I don't know if we ever really played baseball when I was in gym but we played wiffle ball and you know they're always like stay in the right line so you always you know get the turn or whatever and I'd always like once we got back into line again I'd always go like to the back yeah (laughs) dude we always played baseball because it was like springtime oh like, and it was almost the end of the school year, and it was spring time, and we did baseball on the, out on the field, and it was always, like, raining every other day. And I hated it because, like, I could never hit the ball, so I'd always strike out. But when I did hit the ball, it'd always be, like, a straight line down, the down, down like, the third baseline. Oh, yeah. And it'd be, like, I'd always hit the fucking plate because, like, no, it's, like, perfectly down the line. Nobody's going to get it. <laughs> and it's always rolling. I'm just, like... Uh... Guys, guys, how can you not beat that? It's like, right? it's like the first thing you should prepare for. And then, of course, me. I can't conventionally catch anything. <laughs> I can't. It's against my body. Like, my hands, I, I, say, yeah. I can't catch a football like a normal football. Like, every time we did football, I could, I could catch a ball one-handed. I've caught it after a tip, almost touching the ground with my fingertips. Yes, I've caught a ball with my fingertips. Yeah. After a tip. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know sports. <laughs> um, but in baseball, the last game we ever did, I caught the baseball. No, we never did baseball. It was softball. That's right. Yeah, that's Softball, baseball, whatever. I caught the softball, not with my glove. <laughs> I want to. Where do you think I caught it? I want to feel like you could like caught it maybe in your upper arm. Like I sorry. caught it in my elbow. <laughs> I caught it with my elbow. Uh, yeah. The ball just kind of like my elbow was down to my side because I was like trying to bring my glove down, but like, like my, like it, the way my arm bent, it just like grabbed the ball <laughs> and I just like tucked it in like a football. And I'm like, I just look at it and I'm like, ball didn't hit the ground and then I just lift up like I'm flexing. I'm like, how's that happen? <laughs> Because I'm like, how does how's that happen? I just remember, I don't, I don't know what the game was called, uh-huh. but they had like one of the uh, curtains up in the gym so that you could have like two different playing fields. Uh-huh. And it was just two teams, and you had a ball, and you, were, you had to like move it down, but you could like push people or something to stop them. I forget what, I don't, I don't even know, it was a weird game. I kind of want to think it was like handball. Maybe that's what it was, handball. Or... I don't think it was handball. I think it, was, it might have been a handball. The game where you like toss it up in the air. You can only like move three steps and then you throw it to someone. And then, yeah. 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 So we were playing that and I get, get by far get too competitive in those games. And uh-huh. I like ended up laying somebody out. Teacher yells at me. Go stand over there. I go, oh. You see the only like major thing I remember is like the sake. The, 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 the sake. The hockey. The hockey one. Oh yeah. Like, I played a lot of hockey. Like, freshman year, hockey sucked because there was this fucking kid who I, I didn't like me for whatever reason. He, like, accused me of having a boner in gym class when we were doing some weight training, and I'm like, oh. that's my natural bulge, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're staring at my dick. And then he, like, just fucking kept checking me into the wall every time we just played hockey. And I'm like, okay, fuck you, dude. <laughs> and then he, like, fucking moved, like, two years later. And I'm like, Fuck that kid. I don't give a shit. I just wanted to fucking kick his fucking face. And... You ever play Crazy Ball? Uh, I'm not done with my hockey story. No. But, uh, I think it was, don't you dare fucking... <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> <laughs> don't you fucking dare hit that button. <gasps> but, like, I think it was... I think it was junior year. It was either junior year or the first semester of senior year when we did the hockey module I, w- I was like playing offense for whatever reason I think it had to have been senior year because 
I remember like that my my team was the team that uh I missed one day and we lost that day because I was like trying to give blood but they were like, "Oh, you you can't give blood. Your veins aren't strong enough." And I'm like, "Another thing I suck at." <laughs> <laughs> Great. I I think it's because I wasn't like I wasn't following like the hurt like how she explained to do things right because oh. I don't think she explained it properly because I was like what the fuck do you mean <laughs> but I was playing offense and this chick was playing defense long story short I ended up somehow being dick to ass with this chick oh. like just full on and I'm like like for like the half a second, I'm like, don't get a boner, don't get a boner, don't get a boner, don't get a boner. Because yeah, if she's hot, like, that's that's boner time. <laughs> like everybody, like I just turn around and like like everybody back there's just looking at me. and I'm like, I can't do it right now, guys. <laughs> can't do this. <laughs> I can't. No, I'm done. Done. I kind of just walked away after that. They're like, why didn't you get in the puck? And I'm like, gotta walk it off. <laughs> gotta walk, gotta it walk it off. Think, think. Oh. Who was that guy? What? Was he in like an upper grade or something? What? That guy that like was always checking you into the boards. Yeah, he was an upperclassman. You know who he was? What? You remember who he was? He was uh, friends with that Jack Blaze guy. Um, hmm. Come on, I told you this guy changed his name to Jack Blaze. Yeah, no. The super I know country. Who Jack, I know who Jack Blaze is. Jack Blaze is like the best musician of our time, man. Yeah, Jack Blaze is awesome. All right, don't fucking talk bad shit about Jack. I can't say that with a straight no, face. Fuck Jack game. Blaze. Not... But I guess I forget who his friend. <clears throat> his name was like, his name was like the name of a city in Texas, and his last name was like a part of your house, the long part of your house that leads to all the rooms. Mm-hmm. You know, Houston Pantry Way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. What's up with that dude? I don't know. Like, why do some people just have problems? I don't know. That's like... If there was a day I could live regret-free, it'd be like a day I could punch him in the fucking face and show him how dominant I am. Yeah. I am a dominant male. I am the dominant male. I had that... I had that... Actually, that... One um, one semester with at lunches, I would still sit with like the same guys I was talking about. And yeah. There was these other guys that sat at our table, and one dude just always had a problem with me, and I don't understand what it was about. Yo, that was junior year, and that was a woman. <laughs> no, that wasn't that. <laughs> that was also a time though. Who was that? I'm trying to think. Who had a problem with me? <laughs> the chick who always thought you were staring at her. And then she called you out on it. I don't even remember who that was. I'll tell you after the podcast. Yeah, yeah, let me know after the podcast. But that was like that that was like the table where like we had uh we had uh the tech tech guy Josh who was in my Spanish class. And uh we had a test and we were, like neither one of us studied and we were like practicing and he'd always go off to the bathroom after eating lunch and then one day I was like saying you know I should just practice right here and see if he answers and then he comes back from the fucking bathroom and he's like I was practicing in there did you not hear me and I'm like oh dude we're just making that same joke (laughs) oh man man people have problems with us we were just trying to stay off the radar I know we were just trying to stay off the radar we weren't trying to get and then like senior year everybody knew who we were and there was like even underclassmen and it's like who the fuck is that yeah what was your deal are you part of the NSA <laughs> how many times have you seen seen me jerking off and crying in my cameras it's like remember the one time we were leaving um after school and Jared S well, I probably shouldn't say his name Jared Esquire yeah yeah Esquire <laughs> And his brother were in the car in front of us, and they, like, flipped us off. I'm like, why? Why do we have a beef right now? No, but I remember when Cody Stamen's brother was in front of us one time, and he kept squirting his fucking windshield juice at us. Oh, my gosh. That's a good time, though. It's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. 
Interesting to reminisce. Hmm. But high schoolers today, they do the Tide Pod Sermons. Like, <coughs> what possesses a human? Does it go, this is not healthy for me. I'm just going to put this in my mouth. Baby, put it in mouth. Baby, I will love It's gentle and free. It's free and gentle. It looks like semen. Do it. Do it. I'm going to do it. I will love it by now. You took all the time. You are going to fail. <laughs> Didn't taste like semen at all. <laughs> yeah, because. <laughs> oh man, now that reminds me of the office. Where they hit, uh, who was it? Oh, it was the warehouse crew that won the lottery. I don't care. <laughs> they won the lottery, so they created a... <laughs> I don't care. And he's in a drink. Stop. <laughs> Gotta remember which one it is, don't you? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Fucking love that movie. It's great. Hair. It's Friday hair. <laughs> God. Talk about a review I really didn't give a shit about. I just always remember. Always, always remember. We brought you some Cheetos. They'll give you strength. I just thought there was more. Yeah, I thought there was more. That was my jerk off arm! You are going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fucking swamp ape. Just can't get over that. We can't. Are great. We got four fucking of our buttons <laughs> devoted strictly to swamp ape. <laughs> 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 you are fake news. What do you like to play? Pokemon? Pokemon, 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 do you know the rule? Break it down. You'd seen that boy. So, like, out of all the memes you don't know this year, so far, since you don't know the top three, no. you only know the Tide Pod Challenge. Yeah. And I'm showing you the Ugandan Knuckles thing. Yeah. How do you not know the runner up to Meme of the Month? Somebody touch my spaghetti! How do you not know that one? been out of the game. Like, seriously, how do you not know that one? I don't know. Like, I saw that first, like, surprisingly, I saw that meme first day. Huh. That was a meme I saw first day. Hey, where have you seen it a lot, though? Twitter. 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 Hmm. Twitter. 
Must not follow anybody with good memes. Two eater. You follow sports people. Of course they wrote meme. Yeah. I follow entertainers who sometimes me- I follow online entertainers who sometimes meme. Don't. 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 Just do it. 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 Isn't he just the weirdest person ever, Shia LaBeouf? Just do it. Well, I mean, he's always around the corner, and you spot him from the corner of your eye. Shia LaBeouf. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. (laughs) Lurking in the shadows. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. What are we at right now on time wise? Oh, you know, an hour and ten minutes. Oh, it's about wrapped up time, ain't it? Yeah, I think it is. Just stop the recording, or should I put something in and you just cut this part out? <laughs> or we just leave it? <laughs> wow! You put, you put up the fucking best answer I ever heard of! <laughs> you put up the answer I really thought of! I, right. I, I think you need to dab for that one, dab for the audience. Oh, oh! Almost shook, shook my head. Off. Wow. <laughs> Dab too hard. Dab. Well, this was another fantastic cast. Follow us on YouTube. If you find us, Twitter. Yeah, just check it out. I always tell your friends about us. Tell, tell, tell them to subscribe and, and click that notification bell so they always know that we have uploaded something because we have a lot a lot of content coming out in 2018, hopefully. Hopefully we're going to have a lot more shows for all you guys to check out. We're going to check out a lot of stuff. We're finally going to bring Creepypast Critique out. You know, that's going to come out sometime soon. I don't know when, but, you know, we, we also have Big B Reviews, and I, I have four movies already lined up. But.